Now, an update on a story we reported last week, the investigation into a British businessman's death in China. The leading suspect in this murder mystery is the wife of a former high-ranking Chinese official. This morning, China's government says it is committed to finding the truth. As Barry Peterson reports, it's become a political embarrassment for the Chinese and led to headlines around the world. The British government ratcheted up the pressure on China, demanding better answers about last November's death of British businessman Neil Haywood in western China. Foreign Secretary William Hague late Tuesday even raised the issue in Parliament. I decided a few weeks ago to ask China to reopen its investigations into the death of Neil Haywood. Haywood is the center of a murder investigation that has brought down Bo Xilai. A beautiful city. I, I interviewed Bo more than a decade ago when he was the appointed mayor of a coastal city and already considered a fast-rising political star. It's a hot job. Bo Xilai, who until the scandal broke, was destined to become one of China's top leaders. Bo was party boss in Chongqing, a fast-growing city of 30 million. Last week, a state TV announcement said he had been summarily stripped from all his posts. His wife, Gu Kailai, is now under arrest as the leading suspect in the Haywood murder, and Reuters is reporting that Haywood may have been killed in a dispute over his cut in illicitly moving what was called a large sum of money out of China for Gu. As if all this isn't sorted enough, attention is shifting to the lavish, party, high-living style of their son, Bo Gua Gua, educated at Oxford and now a master's student at Harvard University. His Facebook page details nights of women and alcohol, but doesn't answer how the son of a party official who makes a modest income can live like the child of royalty. All this has become a political earthquake for the Communist Party, embarrassed by the spreading scandal and with other top leaders who have children being educated overseas. Observers think the party is hoping that swift action will make Bo's case disappear fast before the people of China start wondering out loud if this kind of corruption reaches all the way to the top. For CBS This Morning, Barry Peterson.